Welcome to the online video lecture series for Intermediate Algebra. I'm Dr. Franklin and I will be your instructor during this series. In this lecture we will be covering how to use the point-slope formula and to use it to write equations of a line. We will start by introducing you to the formula that we will be using and then we'll take a look at an example. In the next video we will model data with linear functions and use them to make predictions. Then we'll talk about slopes and equations of parallel and perpendicular lines. Let's start by taking a look at the point-slope form of the equation of a line. The point-slope equation of a non-vertical line with slope m that passes through the point x1, y1 is y minus y1 equals m times x minus x1. Take a moment to notice where each of the variables appear in the formula. Where do you see the slope? Right, it is here on the right-hand side. What about the values of the coordinates of the points? You see y1 on the left and an x1 on the right. And they're both being subtracted from the variables x and y. Now in a problem, you're generally going to be given or have enough information to find m, x1, and y1. And once you plug them in, the result is the equation that represents the line with slope m and that passes through x1, y1. Now let's use this formula in an example. In the first example, we are asked to write the point-slope form and then the slope-intercept form of the equation of the line with slope negative 3 and that passes through the point 2, comma, negative 4. Let's see if we can't work this out. Okay, so the problem tells us that m, I'll write that in red, m is 3 and it's negative. So the slope is negative 3 and it passes through the point 2 comma negative 4. Notice how I've already identified that slope, whenever they tell me slope, is always m. And whenever they give me a point that it's going to pass through, those are going to be my values for x1 and y1. Now recall the point-slope formula that we were given on the previous slide. It looks like this. It is y minus y1 equals m times x minus x1. You should write that down every single time. The other thing that it asks us to find is something we covered before is the slope-intercept form. And that's when it's written like this. And remember, all slope-intercept form means to do is solve it for y. So let's begin by taking these values here, this negative 3, this 2, and this negative 4, and we're going to plug those into the point-slope formula. So y minus y1 would be, let's write the final answer here, we'll go back to red, y minus y1. Now what's y1? y1 is negative 4. So write in negative 4 is equal to m. Now what's m? I'm going to erase my m that I just wrote and actually put in the number negative 3 times x minus and then x1 was 2. Now the one adjustment I would make to this before I circled it and said I've got the point slope formula is the minus times a minus. That is a subtraction of a minus sign. Remember that's just plus. So rewrite that as y plus 4 is equal to negative 3 times x minus 2. Now that's point slope form. How do we get it into slope intercept? Well to get into slope intercept we need to solve for y. To solve for y, first thing I want to do is I'm going to come over to the right-hand side and distribute the negative 3. So y plus 4 would be equal to negative 3 times x is negative 3x, and then negative 3 times negative 2 is plus 6. Now, subtracting 4 from both sides gives me y is equal to negative 3x plus 2, because 6 minus 4 is 2. And there's your slope intercept. So here's point slope, and here is slope intercept.